sleep in the saddle, drink the rain. Eat nothing but dried meat, dried milk, and horse blood. Such is the life of a Mongol at war. At night, we are rewarded with fermented yak's milk and the promise of Persian treasures. Driven on by the words of the great Khan, we have crossed miles of the Asian continent at full gallop. Before us lies the vast empire of Persia. The Khwarazam Shah will be given one chance to submit, and then his cities will be pulled down brick by brick. But not all of us head into Persia. Genghis has sent Subutai Ba'atur of the reindeer people north into Russia. The Russian principalities are disorganized, and Genghis hopes that Subotai can break them one by one. Then the borders of Mongolia will cover all of Asia. Great Khan, our assassins are concealed in these trade cards. Once the cards are near the Persian Shah, the assassins will strike. Without their leader, the passions will Very fall different. like grass Very beneath different. our hoofs. Very different. bearing gifts for the shop. You may enter. Our city of Samarkand is just over that hill. sent me? No doubt a bribe begging me not to destroy them. Quickly! We must strike at the shark! Mitle Ruski! Mitle Ruski! Mitle Ruski! What is this? Treachery! Now the Persians will be an easier target! We die for Genghis Khan!
coming, dude. Редактор
Амар мэндү барилах чин барилах чин барилах чин Захир 
Timo.
riding dash. Ah, 
จ้ะพี่แม่ม <Sans> ิดเล่กูตีมิดเล่กูตีรักษาดักษาด
Sans or shad, I shad.
Ты... Правильно, да
sens. Thank <laughs> you. 
ditimbang. Kim.
Hitler, Rouskri. Sans Hitler, good three.
Hitler Ruskin. Hitler Ruskin. Reden das. Reden das.
Persian army numbered nearly half a million men, but was beaten by a Mongol army less than half that size. The governors of outlying cities were executed by pouring molten silver into their eyes and throats. The capital city of Samarkand, which was expected to withstand our siege for a year, fell in five days. Separate mountains were made of the skulls of men, women, children, horses, dogs, and cats. We roamed the streets in wonder at the opulence of the Persians, drinking at their fountains and gorging ourselves on sherbet and tropical fruit. For a man born in a tent, it seemed as if Genghis Khan had torn open the gates to heaven itself. Russia and Mesopotamia were now ours to command. The empire now stretched over 7,000 miles from the Pacific Ocean to the Black Sea. We were about to enter Europe when tragedy struck. <laughs>